What are you sitting in, Finley? Um, I go -go. Your go go? Hey. Yeah, well, let's take it easy with that, pal. Back for the 2021 season. Out here in Newcastle for the first practice of the year. First thing you'll notice is I'm actually in Ben's cart. And that's the only cart here. Uh, our plans kind of changed last minute where uh, dad was no longer able to practice. He's on Finley duty. So he was kind enough to let me do the practicing. No Ben today. Uh, so I am flying solo. I'm in Ben's cart because uh, we're kind of in limbo right now between old and new carts waiting on the new shipment to come in for the 2021s. did my first practice out there and uh, it definitely showed that it was my first practice it was it was rusty and it's cold and I don't really know what kind of tires I have on I just dug them out of storage um, but it was great I it was so much fun to be back out there I have no idea what a good time is gonna be today but truthfully that's not all that important shaking off the rust getting a few things dialed in and, and mostly just having some fun um, we did pick up a new camera so this is a 360 camera I was just so amped up to get on track that uh, I didn't even check my tire pressure and I hadn't even put gas in the tank. So somehow there was actually gas still in, in Ben's tank from last year. So I, it ran fine. Uh, <laughs> get out on track. I'm like, how am I running? I didn't put gas in this. Look down, there's just a little splash of fuel in there. But, uh, I was just very excited to get on track, I suppose. Well, I don't want to say that Casey's struggling for speed right now, but Finley's turning faster lap times. So just had my second practice session. I had widened the front because I was sliding through the corners and it helped. Uh, I dropped three tenths of a second, but Honestly, I don't know that that was so much the handling as me still shaking off the rust. I, I still have this really bad habit of turning in early on a couple corners, uh, which is annoying. So I got to fix that one. Uh, I got past almost like I was standing still. So that kind of confirmed that I need to pick up the pace a little bit. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to change my rear hubs I'm going to go from long hubs to short, which we've never had. 
or uh, we've never tried rather. So I'm really curious what that does to the cart. It's supposed to, it's supposed to do what I want it to do. Um, so hopefully that's the case. More to come. You know, the many joys of having Finley around are the little like surprises you find. <laughs> like a Lightning McQueen in your tire as you're changing over hubs. Now he's taking El Elmo for a little walk. And Grandpa. Well, after a long winter, here on March 20th, we're finally back out at the track. Sound of go-kart sounds good. Casey's getting ready to go out for some practice. It was originally going to be me and Casey, but we've got a sickness in the family. And uh, I've got daycare duty, so my able-bodied assistant will be helping me this afternoon. And it technically is still morning, so we can do our usual thing. The Morning Walk with Dad. You know, it's not all bad that I don't get to go out today because you think over the winter about the mistakes you make. And uh, so for at least a couple more weeks, uh, in my mind, I'm still smooth on the transition from gas to brake and back to gas. My grip on the wheel is nice and light, and relaxed and smooth. And I'm a second and a half faster, so I'm going to enjoy that for a couple weeks until I get smacked in the face by reality. But it's good to be back out. What do you say? <laughs> yeah. All right. So just came back in after uh, making that change. Went to the shorter hubs. And I uh, actually ended up, because of those shorter hubs, narrowed up my wheelbase. Look, I have a tendency to be too optimistic. So I'll try to temper it a little bit. But, uh... The car just came alive with that change. I picked up over a second with that. Now, the track's getting faster, it's getting more rubbered in, so it's not all set up, but, but the feel of the car is much better. And very happy, very happy that I found that speed. Um, go back out here in a few minutes and see if I can figure it out a little bit more. Experimenting with some lines with the different feel see what works what doesn't just, man it's just so good to be back out on track uh big thanks to dad right there watching watching little man let me be out here that's really nice of him um i guess that's what dads do so go back out and we'll see we'll see how it goes you want to go watch dad ride drive the go-kart uh -uh. why not Why are you sitting down there in the dirt? Pit stop over. Let's go. Let's go. You know, look at all the dirt. You're going to get Grandpa in trouble. All right, another session. Went out and ran with uh, my buddy Logan in that one. The car was just, it feels so good. Uh, that was a good session running with him. I felt, I felt really strong. Solo, I trimmed off another three or four tenths. And then uh, all together with with the dra or with him behind me pushing, uh, you know, got down to uh, uh, ten flat instead of the ten four that I was running alone. So so it's feeling pretty good. Well, did another session, and uh, it, the track's getting faster, for sure. Uh, picked up some more time, so I think it was also it, it was a combination of the track getting faster and just me feeling more and more comfortable in the cart. Um, 
ran a uh, 109.9 alone. And that's then I diced it up with some uh, some people that are in the, the lightweight class. I think they run at 330 pounds. I, I run at 370. So through the corners, it was it was a lot of fun. But in the straightaways, you know, I didn't have I didn't have a chance. It was definitely like challenging for me to run with people at first. Uh, I'd kind of get caught up in, in their line instead of doing my own thing. So uh, it was nice to work through some of that. Just overall, it feels so good out there. You know, I'm, I'm confident there's people that are faster, but I'm not here to win practice. It just feels so good. So providing the oversight of the young grandson I pulled him up here and uh, thought he was ready for a nap. I wasn't right, but I, <laughs> it worked for me. Grandpa's ready for a nap. But the little guy seems to have caught his second win. I'm gonna go over and check in with my buddy Rob. He got himself a brand new shifter. So, he hasn't even been on track yet. I think he's still messing around with it, but I wanna see this thing. Looks pretty in pictures. That thing is a beast. Just finished the last session of the day. Ran uh, with uh, Clay in that last one. And that was a lot of fun. That was definitely a lot of fun. The fastest session of the day so far. Uh, running with him, got a 109.5. Couple laps later, I was running solo, and oh, I threw it away. I, 
on my little uh, Alfano, I had a, I had at least a 1095 going alone and just botched one of the last corners and ended up with a 1097 alone. So really happy with that. Improved a lot on today and felt really good out there. Really good. Cautiously optimistic for, you know, for the season. Uh, I tend to start that way. Hi there. Hi, Finley. What are we doing? What are we doing? Can I see this real quick? Can I see it real quick? What are we doing, Bubba? Hi. Hi. Hi, Go Go. Hi, Go Go. I eat. Done, done. Done. Okay. You got dirt all on your face. You had a fun day. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're going to go get those hands cleaned off. All right, well, that's going to be it for the day. Huge thanks to Dad for him watching this little guy. No! Yes. I gotta go get it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, let's do a video, huh? Let's do a video. You wanna say bye? Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it was mostly just me, so we already know it's gonna be boring, so I'm sorry about that. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and uh, do some like and some sharing. Yeah, it's gonna be a great year. And get him in the car and, and head out. Till next time.